that I'm at an all time. <laughs> What is going on guys, it is your boy Limesy here and today I am going to be telling you guys how you guys can join Team Core. This is mostly going to be for GFX and Call of Duty players. I know that some of you guys are looking forward to joining Team Core and for some of you that might just happen one day. And I also forgot to mention this is also for content creators. Alright, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different, I just got out of bed. I had to finish up this video so I got off early last night. But I'm going to run you guys through a couple of steps that will help you get to Team Core. Step 1 is consistency. Now this mostly goes for Call of Duty players who love to upload. And in that category, that's basically me. You want to be consistent in hitting clips, for sure. And then you also want to be consistent in uploading. Uploading is about 60% of what you want to do, clips is about 40%. Now you don't have to be uploading every single day and if you haven't noticed that's usually what I do But the reason for that is because that's on me See I like to be active and that's what I'm asking from you guys But it's not just what I'm asking from you guys It's what the team is asking from you guys and it's also mainly what cosmic is asking from you guys And when you join the team you have to be active for at least I think it's seven days I think it is which most of us are active for seven days like we're always in the team chat We're always talking we're always playing with each other We're always sending YouTube links to each other like saying hey man and go like my new video and I know it is kind of self advertising is what it sounds like but it's really not so yeah basically in this situation you know what they say consistency is key that means somewhat consistent in YouTube consistent in the team chat and consistent in a bunch of other things like participation in the team core things such as montages dual tages correlation anything like that now the second step is mostly for GFX designers. now keep in mind we are willing to recruit players at any time but sometimes we may be like, hey man, we're not like kind of recruiting right now. But at the same time, we are always kind of wanting to recruit. Let me explain. See, as a team and as one of the leaders of the team, I wouldn't want the roster overloaded with people. I would like to keep it kind of organized, clean, you know, all set out, everything like that. So it basically means that the more players that we recruit, your chances of joining Team Core decreases but that doesn't mean that you can't join it's because we don't have as many gfx designers as we do call of duty players but keep in mind that doesn't mean that you can't join now the reason i said this is more for gfx designers rather than call of duty players so basically it all rounds up to step two being always wanting to try out you can always try out but sometimes you may not make it but if you don't make it that doesn't mean that you can't try out again you can keep trying out so basically for trying out with the call of duty players you either want to send your clips to the team twitter and that is ran by Corgoob. If you do not know him, uh, go subscribe to him, I guess. Like, I'll leave his link in the description below. But he is also the Team Core Manager of social media. So if you can get in touch with him, then he will probably get in touch with Cosmic as soon as possible. But in order to get Cosmic Skype, I think that you have to get permission from, like, Goob or something like that in order to get in touch with Cosmic because I can't just give out his Skype like that because I don't think I have permission to do that. But if you guys can't ever get in touch with Goob, just get in touch with me. I promise you guys I'll try to get you to Cosmic somehow. But just get in touch with me if you can't get in touch with Goo. But the other way that Call of Duty players like clip better feeders, you know, just people like that in general. The other way that they can join is through recruitment challenges. That is probably the hardest but easiest way to get into Team Core. Now the reason why it's probably one of the hardest ways is because you're competing against other people that are probably either better than you, worse than you. You never know how good other people are. But it's also easiest because you know all the information, you know what you have to do to be able to join Team Core. And that basically rounds it up to my third step. You want to be active on the team channel that basically means you don't have to comment on every video but we're basically saying we would like you to drop a like and definitely subscribe so that you know when our next video comes out on the team channel and if you want to know exactly when our videos comes out don't forget to press the bell right beside the subscribe button and basically what I'm just saying exactly right now is just a reminder of what you can do to be able to stay active on a team channel just to let you know what the bell does especially if you have a cell phone is basically when you press that button, whenever we upload, it sends you a notification to your phone saying we just uploaded and then it has like a time right beside it or just tells you what type of video that we uploaded. For example, for the people that have already pressed the bell button, this video will be called how you can join Team Core. So basically when this video is uploaded to the Team channel, it'll send a direct notification to your phone saying from Team Core Nation how you can join Team Core. And if you click on that notification, it will send you directly to your YouTube app and then it will send you directly to the team channel and then from there it will send you directly to the video. So it's basically less work if you hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button. And that right there is the main way how you can stay active on the team channel. And basically what I said at the beginning of this video, like for Call of Duty players, was kind of in a between of Call of Duty players and content creators. So basically in step four, 
what you want to do for content creators is you want to be active and at least upload twice a week. If you want to know what a perfect example of a content creator is, go to youtube.com slash Virgie. That dude is a beast content creator. You want to be very active and you want to have good channel standings. You don't want to have five and a half billion channel strikes up there either. And you also want to have at least 25 subscribers or more. And the reason for 25 subscribers or more is basically what that does is tells us that you have somewhat experience in YouTube and in knowing what you're doing. We want people that know what they're doing, not amateurs. And if you are an amateur, that doesn't mean that you can't join at all. That's basically meaning just for the content creators. We want people that know what they're doing. For the Call of Duty players, for the GFX players, those are the people that can really try out. But for the content creators, that's a little bit something different. And that's people that we need to be active and people that are reliable. But yeah, people, that has been the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and like I said, press that bell so that you know the next time when we upload, it'll be straight on your notifications. And yeah, hopefully this will end up on the team channel somehow. I know it's going up on my channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.